Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanna show you in a video how to edit your INI files in general for all of Ark Survival Ascended. It's super easy to do. All you gotta do is know the file pathway you have to go to and then what you're kind of looking for. I'm gonna show you all of that. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull open a notepad and you're gonna pull out your game user and INI settings. Now I'm going backwards just so you can see, we're gonna start the, the end of here. And then in order to do that, what you're gonna do is you're also gonna go ahead and go to your Windows file, right? You can see my Windows file right here and you can see, oh boy, I'm trying to undo exactly what I just did. Um, there's my window file. Um, so we're looking for the game user INI setting. You can see it right here. Um, we're going to go ahead instead of like, that's what opened that up. We're going to go back one. You can see that the windows config saved shooter game arc survival ascended is the path that you want to hit for that. Um, so you're going to see right here, we're going to go and go back. You can see there's the config, go back into saved, go back into shooter game, arc survival ascended. And then that's what, we're, what you're going for. That's it, right? So arc survival ascended, we're going to start like you would go into the file pathway. All you gotta do is go wherever you store it. You're gonna go ahead and click on your stuff here in order to get it, right? Clicking on some of this isn't gonna get you anywhere, but shooter game, saved. And then once you've done that, right? It's pretty simple, config, windows, and then it's gonna open up all of your config files. You're gonna double click on game user settings I and I, and it's gonna bring you to something that looks like this. Now, once you have this open, right, this is what you're looking for. This is where you can enter different commands in order to one, either enter the codes that is going to make it easier on your PC to run this game or two, so you can kind of cheat for PVP purposes. You can use basically the same thing that you used in Ark Survival Evolved in order to edit this stuff. But just so you know, this is the basic stuff that you're going to go over, right? So you can see that I'm looking at it right now. So if I was to click on one of these, that says false. If you want to do the opposite, make sure you use a capital first letter and then the opposite. So if I say, if I wanted this to be false right here, I would simply type in true on this line. I don't want that, but that's how you would change that file. Now, in order to edit the numbers, you can see it right here. If it's going to be less than one, you do have to put zero point, whatever it is. You can't put 0.49 or anything along those lines. You have to actually edit the numbers. So like you, if you want to change your graphics quality to one or zero, you'd have to erase the three and then put in a two or a one or any of that. Now, once you get through all of this game user INI settings, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to save this. Make sure you click file save and then once you save it make sure you replace the one that you created into the file location make sure everything else stays the same just edit those numbers or edit those things that you want to edit so like the trues to false or false to trues and then you're going to go ahead and save this exact file where your game user settings i and i was inside of arc and that's it. That's literally all you have to do to edit your game INI files. It's very similar to Ark Survival Evolved. And it's kind of frustrating because in my personal opinion, it's literally just a way to cheat inside of Ark because you can essentially remove everything and make it so you can see in the dark. You can see literally the bottom of the ocean, everything. Now, there are ways to do this using the um, tab menu now. So it's less important to access your INI but it's still something that is quite useful to be able to know how to do. So hopefully this video helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and then consider subbing the channel. All right, teach.